My name is Poppy Freighter, I am a sheep specialist and today we are going to talk about cattle and sheep nutrition. So ruminants are vastly different from other mammals in that they actually ferment their feed in order to um, use it for growth and lactation and wool production. So they do this through a symbiotic relationship, so through um, a, a mutual beneficial relationship with rumen bugs, so bacteria, protozoa and fungi in the rumen. There's still many unanswered questions in science about how a rumen works. It's very complicated, but what we do know can really give insight into how we can feed animals for better feed and efficiency and for rumen health. So the dependency of the animal on rumen bugs means that we need to consider not only the, the animal itself, the cow or the ewe, or, but we also need to consider how to feed these bugs so that they maintain um, a stable and healthy um, balance in the rumen. So the bugs in the rumen that are important to digest the plant cell walls and so it's silage, hay and grass, so it's cellulose. Um, they like a fairly neutral pH in the rumen, so around 6 to 6.5. So maintaining a neutral pH in the rumen is important. If it goes too far below um, 6, then the bugs that are responsible for digesting the, the silage and the hay, they don't work efficiently. So they're not actually um, utilising and um, degrading the silage very well and a lot of it ends up going to waste. In order to maintain a stable rumen pH, um, it's important to include a lot of fiber in the diet. Fiber basically encourages um, the animal to chew the cud, so regurgitating the feed and um, swallowing it again. So that encourages more saliva production, which is a buffer for rumen pH. Um, and also the fiber, it gives a scratch factor to the, to the rumen, which helps its functioning through the contraction process. So we know that fibre is good for rumen health, however it's a fine line, too much fibre can be indicative of a low energy diet, um, the feed resides in the rumen for a lot longer so therefore they can't um, eat as much and therefore they're unlikely to perform as well on a lower fibre diet. So maintaining a stable uh, rumen bug population is important and fibre is important for maintaining the pH for those bugs that like uh, degrading this, the cellulose, the plant cell walls. The other thing is this population is very dynamic, it adapts very quickly to different feeds. So it's very important that we allow time for the, the bugs to adapt. So any changes to what feeds you're giving must be done gradually, particularly if it's from a very forage-based diet to a diet containing more starchy feeds. Ruminants, that with, when they're given quite a high starch-based diet, the pH of the rumen declines quite a lot. So when that happens, the, the bugs responsible for digesting the plant cell walls can no longer function. Not to say that a high starch diet is necessarily um, a bad thing, but it must be done in a gradual way and it must be done in a way um, in conjunction with fibre. If, uh, if you're feeding um, a lot of grain or starchy concentrate feeds, it's very important to make sure that it's not too much feed in one sitting because if you think, particularly the pushier animals, they're going to get a lot more than those at the back and they're going to be at risk of acidosis or grain overload. 